Father, thank you that we are important in your eyes. That as young as we are, thank you for using us to share your love to the people around us, to our parents, to our friends, to our classmates, to our neighbors. I pray, Lord, that we would be more like you to them in the way we love them, we talk to them, we play with them, we study with them, with how we think about them. I pray that everything we do will bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Another way we can worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen. In the beginning, God created a perfect world filled with light, life, and beauty. He made Adam and Eve, the first humans, in His own image and placed them in the Garden of Eden where they lived in harmony with God and all creation. But one day, the serpent deceived Eve into eating fruit from the one tree God had forbidden and Adam followed. In that moment, everything changed. Sin entered the world and Adam and Eve felt guilt and shame for the first time. Their perfect relationship with God was broken and they realized the gravity of their mistake. How did it come to this? Everything was perfect and now we feel so different. Did God really say you must not eat? from any tree in the garden? 
We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God said, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die. God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The serpent's words made me doubt God's goodness. What if the serpent is right? In that moment, Eve's lack of faith in God's word led her to disobey. She took a bite of the fruit and gave some to Adam, who also ate. Their lack of faith in God brought sin into the world. Immediately, Adam and Eve felt shame. They realized they were naked and tried to cover themselves. Their lack of faith in God led to disobedience, and now they felt guilty and ashamed. When we lack faith in God's command and promises, we end up making wrong choices that lead to sin. God wants us to trust Him and believe that He knows what is best for us. Just as Hebrews 11.6 tells us, We need to believe that God exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Faith means trusting God even when we don't understand everything. But here's the best part. God loves us so much that He sent His only Son, Jesus, to help us. Jesus came to show us how to have faith in God and to save us from our sins. When we trust in Jesus and follow Him, we can be close to God again. Hi kids, my name is Teacher JC and welcome back to Kids Church Online. Now, having been in Kids Church for quite some time now, we know about sin and how it is wrong. But how did it all start? That is what our series is all about, which is entitled, The Fall. We will learn today that in its basic form, sin is lack of faith. Now, our Bible story today is actually the same as last week's, but we will learn a different aspect about sin this time. So let's check out the story again. It says in Genesis 3, 1-7 from the CEV version, The snake was sneakier than any of the other wild animals that the Lord God had made. And one day, it came to the woman and asked, Did God tell you not to eat from any tree in the garden? The woman answered, God said we could eat fruit from any tree in the garden, except the one in the middle. He told us not to eat fruit from that tree or even to touch it. If we do, we will die. No, you won't, the snake replied. God understands what will happen on the day you eat fruit from that tree. You will see what you have done and you will know the difference between right and wrong, just as God does. (laughs) The woman stared at the fruit It looked beautiful and tasty. She wanted the wisdom that it would give her, and she ate some of the fruit. Her husband was there with her, so she gave some to him, and he ate it too. At once, they saw what they had done, and they realized they were naked. Then they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. And when the man and the woman, who will later be named Adam and Eve, ate the fruit, this showed that they chose to put their faith on the serpent not on God. God was very specific in telling them not to eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God had His reasons for not allowing them to. But instead of talking to God about their questions, Adam and Eve believed the snake and went ahead and did the exact opposite of what God told them not to do. They trusted the serpent and did not have faith in God. Now, what's wrong about not having faith? How can it be sin? Right? 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 Romans 1 verse 17 in CEV version says, The good news tells how God accepts everyone who has faith, but only those who have faith. It is just as the scriptures say, the people God accepts because of their faith will live. All of mankind fell into sin because of what Adam and Eve did. We have been separated from God. The only way we can be reconciled or our relationship with God restored is when we put our faith in Jesus. For people who do not have faith in Jesus, they are still in their sin. That's why our lesson title is, Sin is Lack of Faith. 
So, what's our point for today? God accepts those who have faith in Him. Now, how do we put our faith in Jesus? We believe in our hearts that He is God who became man and came to earth to be the sacrifice to pay for our sins. There's no way that we can pay for our sins. That's why Jesus had to come. When we believe this, we are putting our trust or faith in Jesus. And we express this through our obedience to Him. And sometimes, even when we have already put our faith in Jesus, we still display a lack of faith. When we do not obey God, it shows our lack of faith in Him. And this is the cause of our sin. Like for example, you profess that you have faith in Jesus, yet you are quick to lie when you are in trouble. This shows that you lack faith to follow the Bible's commands to tell the truth. That is why we must resolve to trust God not just in our hearts, but also show this in our actions. Now, to the parents and adults watching, our children will need to have their own faith. They cannot just rely on ours because faith is a personal decision. That is why it is our responsibility to tell them about Jesus just as often as we can. Let us constantly plant the seeds of faith in them and see how God is faithful to make it grow. And as a reminder, our power truth for this month is... The God who knows us at our worst loves us the most. And our power verse for this month is, For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 22 from the WEB version. Adam and Eve did not have the faith to obey God's instruction. They preferred to follow their own desires rather than God's. On the other hand, Jesus obeyed God even if it led to His death. Jesus did it so that He could pay the penalty of our sins. Those who put their faith in Jesus are reconciled to God and get to be with Him forever. Why don't we pray? Dear Jesus, thank you for obeying God even if it meant your death. We are grateful to you for saving us from our sins. Please help us to always obey God too. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now for our family con or conversation, which do you find the hardest among all of God's commands to follow? Why? Alright, let's talk about this with our family and see you next time. Craft time.
Hello crafty kids, welcome to craft time. I'm teacher Mona and I can't wait to make some fantastic crafts together. Are you all set? Awesome! Today, we're making a pop-up card of Adam and Eve eating the fruit. To make this craft, we will need the following materials. The pop-up template printed on board paper, which is the base and the pop-up which can both be downloaded from the link below. You will need some double-sided tape and some scissors. Now let's get crafting. First, let's make sure our pop-up templates are pre-assembled. So you take this piece and you fold it along this line and you fold it both ways like so and you do it as well on the other side. Fold like this and the other side. Next, with this line over here, you fold it down like so and make sure it's folded. Very, very folded. And then, following this line, you fold it down like this and make sure you press it really, 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 really hard. And then flip it over and fold again. Then you open it up and fold this like this. And there you have a little V fold like that. So we're gonna set this over here for now. And in the meantime, grab this strip of paper and the fruit, and we're gonna put some double-sided tape and stick it together. So take your double-sided tape and your scissors and remember kids, be careful with your scissors if you need some help, ask, from an, ask it from an adult nearby. Now that these materials are ready, we are gonna work on the pop-up mechanism. So we set this over here for now and we're gonna fold this in half have the corners meet and press it down. Your next step will be to take this and put double-sided tape in this box over here. Then you will peel the tape. Then you will take this piece of paper and align it with the black line, the dark black line over here. Fold this inwards and stick to the double-sided tape. And press it down. The next step then will be to put double-sided tape over here. Then we're going to open it. We're nearly done with our pop-up mechanism. The next step is to push the V-fold down like this. Okay, so to try it again, it should look something like that. We're going now to take our fruit and with this corner over here, we're going to align it like so. We're going to put tape behind right over here. So take your double-sided tape. Fold it down. Align it with the edge, the corner. And press it down. So it should look something like this. And the last and final step is to take the hand and stick it right over here. There's a line here that we're going to follow. Take your double-sided tape again. Ta -da! Now your pop-up mechanism is working and Eve is eating the fruit. Now that our craft is ready, we can start coloring. 
I'm gonna use markers, but you can use whatever coloring materials you have. And when you're done coloring, it should look something like this. And there you have it, Crafty Kids. Ta-da! Look at these wonderful pop-up cards. They remind me of a story we talked about today. Adam and Eve listened to the snake and ate the fruit from the tree that God told them not to eat from. Doing this showed Adam and Eve didn't have faith in God's plan for them. They thought they knew better than God and didn't trust Him. Genesis 3 verses 6 to 7 tells us that they ate the fruit and realized they were wrong. Hebrews 11 verse 6 reminds us that it's impossible to please God without faith. So, as we make our pop-up cards of Adam and Eve eating the fruit, let's remember to have faith in God's plan for us. Even if we don't understand everything, we can trust that God knows what's best. We can practice this by listening to God's word, praying, and following what He teaches us every day. That's it for craft time today, kids. See you all next week.